Alright, hi my name is Kitaro and today I'll be showing you how to connect QLED to the whiteboard. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is go to your whiteboard. We already have a project open, but you're going to want to exit out of it. So quit, and then we wait for our options to load up. And then once it's available, we're going to go to settings. And then open network. Make sure that we write down our IP address. So right now the ion board is 10.101.100.101. And then we make sure that our physical address is off. Our interface protocols are just like this. Our DHCP server is off. Our update service is off. And our time service is off. Now once we got that down, we got to get our port. We go back into our project, displays, browser, and then we're going to go to setup and open show control. And ignore all of this, but look for the OSC RX port number. It's 8001. So now what we have to do is plug in our Ethernet cable, otherwise known as a CAT cable. Now make sure that when you're plugging it into your computer, it's hooked up to the same network that your board is in. So when you're in the booth, the network is going to be right there. It's plugged in, and it doesn't really matter where we plugged it in. It just has to be in one of the LANs. I'm going to plug it into LAN 3. So let me just hook that up. There we go. And then we're going to pull this through and hook it up to the computer with the QLab project on it, which is already open. Now that we have this plugged in, we're going to minimize out of QLab for now, and we're going to open our system preferences on our computer that has QLab on it. Um, you won't be able to do this if you're logged in into your student account, so make sure you have the login of a teacher or something. So we're going to open Network go over to Wi-Fi and we'll have this turned off and go over to Ethernet and we'll make sure that our IPv4 is configured manually and our IP address will start out the same as uh, the one on the board so right here we have 10.101.100 but the last three digits should end in a different number so it'll be 0.26 on here and then the rest of this you can leave as is and after you apply it, we're going to close out, go back into QLab, open our settings, and go over to Network, and skip patch 1. We're going to go over to patch 2 and named it ION. Our address is 10.101.100.101, and the port number, OSC, RX port number is 8001. Okay, we click Done. Now, what we're going to do in our QLab project is open a network queue, go over to settings, and make sure that our destination is in ION, and we're going to type out EOS Q, and then the Q mask number, for now it's going to be 1, and then the Q number we want to start with, I'm going to start with Q number 1, and then fire press enter and make sure that you're not getting a warning at the bottom and it looks like we aren't which means that it is communicating with the ion board and we're going to do this like a couple more times so I'll just copy paste make this fire 2 copy and paste again fire. so I have four cues on here so I'm going to make four different cues for uh, the ion board or fire. Alright, so those are our four cues. And what we want to do is time code it um, so that it can sync up the music. Uh, let's see. So you're going to open a group, put all your music, put the song that you're lighting to and the uh, 
network queues in, go over to mode in your group and click start all children simultaneously. And then you can set the pre weight as to when you want the light cues to fire. So when it comes to actually designing from the computer, you won't be able to do that unless you have an ion mirror. But the way we have it set up, it'll tell the board when to fire each cue so that we can have more specific and perfectly timed um, light cues going. We want the psych to fade up with the music. So over here, my fade up from Q1 to Q2 is five seconds. So I'm gonna start at five seconds before the music kicks in. So I'll set my pre weight to on my Q at five. Five seconds. So now we'll see if our whiteboard is communicating with Q1 by running the group.